Hey everybody, I just thought I'd share with you what we're, the inside of our 1972 Terry looks like right now. We're not done. We've still got a little bit of ceiling work that we want to do, but uh, we've camped. Now this is our second weekend to go camping in it, and so we're pretty pleased with it. Hopefully you guys will get some ideas and see what we've done with it. Okay, I'm standing in our doorway, so when you come in, not really crazy about the modern refrigerator. We're going to be looking to replace that, but... When you come in, that's actually the bathroom door right there in the corner. So it's in the back passenger corner. Um, and then obviously the kitchen's along this wall. Uh, and we've been very pleased with this one little feature, which is this, I guess it's lexicon, plexicon, I don't know, something like that. Uh, this is original to the camper. It's a, a divider between it and the front. Um, and then we... When we took the upholstery off of this that was on there, we uncovered this magnificent original 1972 upholstery that was just on this dinette. And so we um, were proud to display it. And then the front, here's where we recovered our front cushions. Um, and this side actually makes down into a full bed. If you notice, there's it's just one giant room in here. There's not a separate... And then this side makes into a twin, a good size twin bed. Um, and then we didn't choose right now. We haven't chosen to put the cabinet door back. You know, that drops down into an upper loft bed. We, we're right now we're using it uh, just as storage and overhead. Um, and I haven't. We're going to paint the ceiling. This is kind of a, a masonite product. Um, actually, probably more of an MDF product. You can see it looks like paneling but it's, it's uh, smooth. Those grooves are just fake. That's not actual an indention, it's just a design. Uh, but we're not sure if we're gonna put the other cabinet back up or just put baskets up there and leave that like it is. Uh, and then one of our favorite features about this is this guy right here. This is actually a drop down table. And I'm sorry about all the camera movement, but this lifts up and even underneath it if you can see there's a leaf it'll actually extend out uh, to about four feet so between between the two couches when they're when they're up we actually have like a four foot table we had breakfast there this morning it's a great great place and of course there's the the front window and what we did like was these big three windows up here that give us all this natural light um, and then you should just look back, you see back to the kitchen, the bathroom, and then we have um, a really nice closet and the one, the door on the left actually has drawers in it. So it's really, uh, it's been a great layout so far and we're thrilled to death with this original 1972 flooring. Um, so we're, we're still working on it and we're trying to figure out what we're doing next and um, we need a stove handle and there's several things. But um, thought we would share it with you. Thanks. Hey, I just thought I'd show you what where we're at with the outside of this. We, what you're seeing in white right now is actually just a really good primer coat. Uh, we're going to come back in with an enamel coat, but but we changed the really 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 faded green uh, to an orange that uh, was kind of a vintage color that we walked through. So we finally landed on that. So we've got the front. Uh, rock cover painted we got um, obviously the sides all the way around we're still going to paint the door at some point in time hopefully you guys have noticed that we added these were some very inexpensive moon hubcaps that we got on here but it really made the side of it pop and we're we're thrilled with that and then last weekend we picked up this awning so i got the awning mounted it's still just not perfect for some reason right now it doesn't un want to unwind so i'm probably going to have to fix that um, mechanism or replace it um, but hopefully you like what we've done with it it's really we got the air conditioner up there it really uh, is an eye catcher we we got several people who stopped us or what well, came up to visit us when we stopped so we're uh, we're thrilled to show off our 1972 Terry her name is Memphis I wanted to show you what the previous owner had done here they actually these are uh, trailer 
stands that you would normally weld on the tongue of your trailer. They put them back here on this bumper. They're not attractive. We're not crazy about them. Um, but dang it, they sure are practical. Uh, the only issue is I cranked this one too much the other night and it started torquing and my, my door didn't want to close. So they really uh, will stabilize your camper. Uh, we're just not that thrilled with them. Um, and then I'll just let you see the, the passenger side over here where we've, um, sorry, it's a little more in the shade, but that's what, what we're looking like all the way around. We can't wait to paint the bumpers and, and uh, finish all the decorative stuff on her. But right now she's pretty functional. I did get my, down here, I did get my waste tank installed. It's incredibly low, you can see it. Um, this trailer, somebody put wheels on it, which is really good, because I think it's the only thing that's gonna protect my waste tank. Um, but I'm thrilled to have it back there. And then we've um, we got some issues, like with this fender skirt is cracked, and we have to figure out how to epoxy it, because I don't want to replace it, because it does have the T in it. And I'm sure I won't be able to find one of those. Um, and then this is the, you know, that fancy water fill that they have. And we haven't tested out the 12 volt system on this thing yet. So uh, hopefully my water pump works. I know that everything had pink antifreeze in it. So I'm thrilled to death with that. Well, y'all, there's, there she is. I don't, we're going to keep going with the ceiling. I don't know if I'll post any more videos about her, but, um, if you have any questions, I can definitely tell you what I've uncovered. We have not put a shower back in it uh, where I tore out the one that was broken. And uh, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do with that piece of it. But uh, the good news is, is now we've camped five nights in it. And we poured it, pulled it through a rainstorm last weekend. And we came out dry on the other end. And so that was good news. Um, so right now I'm, I'm really pleased with it. It pulls great. It's, uh, it's not a very heavy camper. And so uh, even though it is a tandem axle and it just, uh, it's been a, a really pleasure so far. So hopefully we'll uh, continue to discover new places in it. Hope you enjoyed the video.